Welcome to another episode of Open RCT2 Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build your very own Windseeker or Starflyer model, kind of like the Sky Screamers at Six Flags. Now this is a really easy ride to build and I think it makes a great addition to any park. First, you need to turn on some cheats. You need to have allow chain lifts on all track pieces, show all operating modes, unlock operating limits, and then allow arbitrary ride type changes, show vehicles from other track types, and disable vehicle limits. And then make sure you have disabled clearance checks turned on. And now I'm going to start with a 6x6 base, and then we're going to use the powered mine train, or the mine ride. And I want the station to be one unit of height above the surface. We'll do two station pieces, and then a sharp turn, and then we are going to go to a bank, and then an upward helix and you're gonna build two of those. And then here we will turn on the chain lift pieces and then I'm going to build helixes all the way up as high as you'd like the ride to go. So I'm gonna go up to 150 and then I'm going to go to a normal size large turn, turn the chain lift off, do two of those turns and then back to the downward helix. And we'll build those all the way back down to the bottom and then at the base, we'll turn off the banking and do another sharp turn into the station, build your entrance and exit, and that is the ride layout. Now I'm going to change the ride to powered launch without passing station and set it to 15 miles per hour. This will get it out of the station before the chain lift. And we just want one train with 29 cars. And then I'm going to change the train type the vehicles to the lay down cars and there we go and I'm going to quickly make them red and then now we are going to change it to any ride with a lift hill just so we can edit that lift hill speed to 25 miles per hour and then change it back to the mine ride and then now we can test it and it should work as we'd like it to, except for one problem. It looks a little weird coming out of the station with a sharp turn, but here it's gonna start looking normal and it hit the chain lift, so it's sped up. And then I'm going to speed it up now just so we can get it to the top really quick. And so here, as it's nearing the top, we're gonna run into a little bit of a problem. So as it hits the top, the train is actually gonna run into itself and then get stuck. So we don't want that, so I'm gonna close the ride and reset it and then just test it and close it. I guess I wasn't fast enough. So there we have the vehicle spawned, and now you're gonna to go to the Edit Ride Vehicles plugin. If you don't have it, there is a link in the video description. We're gonna choose the mine ride, and then change the vehicle visuals to the swinging floorless cars, and then press Apply, and that will change all of them. And then now I want my vehicle one to be any sort of car ride, so the Cheshire Cats works and I'm going to change it to the invisible variant. And then I'm going to change the max speed to 15, then use the multiplier at 100 to give it some mass of 200. Go back to the one for the multiplier. And if you can see, vehicle two is at track progress two. Vehicle one is at 21, so I'm gonna bring that all the way down to just one ahead of vehicle two, so at three. So this will make sure that they don't run into each other at the top. So now we can test the ride and everything should work as normal. And it's gonna go slowly out of the station because we have that slow 15 mile per hour launch and it's gonna slow down a little bit. And then once it hits the chain lift, it's gonna keep a steady 25 miles per hour. The Cheshire Cats, uh, that car ride is actually gonna keep it from going too fast on the way down because the max speed is only 15 units, which is roughly about 25 miles per hour. And then now you can change the colors to invisible for the track. Now, if you don't have the invisible color, you just have to enable it in the cheats, but this will make the ride completely invisible. And the reason that we chose the mine ride is actually because it will not make a sound on the chain lift, so you're not gonna hear that chain lift sound as it goes up. Now, as we watch it go up, I'm going to open the tile inspector so that we can make the entrance and exit buildings at surface level. So select the exit, lower it two units to the surface, do the same thing with the entrance, and then we can select the station platform and make those invisible with the tile inspector. 
So just scroll all the way to the bottom. We want the track piece that's at the very bottom and make it invisible. And do it the same for the other station piece. And now we can see what kind of stats it gets as it comes into the station. Whoops, looks like we need to run it one more time. And I think it gets pretty great stats, but we just need a little bit of decoration now. So I'm going to speed things up. There's a few ways you can go about decorating these things. I was actually using some custom scenery objects from Dirk Link's Discord server that allows you to recolor a lot of objects, but for now I'm just going to use the in-game objects that come standard, as well as a few from the Time Twister and Wacky Worlds expansion pack. So I'm turning on the Roaring Twenties wall sets right now. Now this is a little piece that I like to use to kind of round out the tower. However, with Dirk Link's objects, I can recolor it white, but the standard in-game ones, it's just this beige color. So this is just one way you can make the tower. Normally those small beige pieces would go all the way up the tower, but just for the sake of time, I'm not doing that now. And then I'm gonna color it a little bit more like the normal Windseeker rides and try and put some sort of top on the tower as best I can. This is where custom scenery objects might come in handy but I'm just gonna use what we have. So this is just one example of what you can do with the scenery, but here's another option, especially if you want it more like a star flyer. Choose the chairlift, and we are just going to make a giant chairlift tower with the turns, and then we can add those pipes from the mechanical scenery all the way up the tower. And then what you're gonna need to do is use the tile inspector and take that chairlift track and move it all the way down in the tile inspector order all the way to the bottom and just one above the surface. Actually, it should be above the base block, but I forgot to do that in this example. But you do that for all of the chairlift pieces and it's gonna give you that nice tower. You can even paint the mechanical pieces inside if you want some color. And then alternatively, instead of the mechanical pieces, if you turn on the future theming, which is from uh, the time twister, expansion you can then use this nifty little piece that actually lights up it's another one of those tiny corner pieces and then we can just apply it all the way up the tower on all of the corners and then you have this nice tower that lights up and then you just need to go into the tile inspector once more and move all of the chairlift pieces down and then finish it up with the top and then make sure you add a little top piece. So that is just one option. You can change the color to whatever you'd like, but it's a light up tower, but I'm sure you guys can figure out something even better than that. And if you can't be bothered with all of that, you can just download the track. The link is in the video description. Make sure you have disabled clearance checks turned on. Go to the mine ride and build the wind seeker. Build your entrance and exit. Open and close the ride, open the ride vehicle editor, select it, change it to the swinging floorless cars, apply, and then go to car one. Make sure you move it back to track progress three, change it to a Cheshire Cat and make it invisible. Make the max speed 15, give it some mass, and then make sure you put the powered launch to 15. Make sure that you have the lift hill speed set correctly, change it back to a mine ride, make everything invisible, and then open the tile inspector and make the entrance and exit at surface level and the station invisible, and then make the entrance and exit invisible as well. And there you have it. We have a working wind seeker. Now I think this ride looks pretty awesome and very close to the real thing. So you should definitely add it to your park. It's a great flat ride that the game is really lacking. And if you'd like to make it look more like a star flyer, just open up the edit ride vehicles, copy that vehicle one that's invisible, and then paste it to either all of the even cars or all of the odd cars, it doesn't matter. So you could do 246 all the way up to 28 or 357 to 29. And I think it looks great this way as well. So you could either go the Starflyer or the Windseeker route. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And make sure to subscribe because next time I'm going to be showing you how to build your very own recreation of Mr. Freeze that features actual working vertical boosters. This trick does not involve any shoestringing. It is pretty awesome, so stay tuned because you do not want to miss this next tutorial. And hold on, just keep watching. 
because I know you want to see this ride go for one more cycle. So let's do it again. <laughs> 